Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you guys how to exploit or pandas the Android system by malware and how we can embed the malware also inside application files that can also be used and downloaded over the Google Play Store. Um, so where can we send the malware to be downloaded for example? We can send it in messaging platforms like Instagram, Facebook, um, TikTok and any other messaging platforms or we can send it over the SMS or we can also send it is it like a, as a poor website or we can host a website where many uh, visitors can actually visit it so many people uh, could actually get infected in this way so it's very dangerous uh, it we can also send it by the email message header in that way also um, there are also like advanced exploitation techniques for example we if the victim clicks on the link where also our malware is hosted where they can also download it at the process where they click the link we can also retrieve the ip system browser time zone information of the victim or run a browser exploit to actually get remote access into the victim's system by them just clicking the link or we can also infect the victim with beef xss malicious javascript that we embed uh hidden in the HTML page, basically. So that's how basically we can actually exploit the victim. But please use this for educational purposes only. Don't do any malicious activities. This is only for cybersecurity awareness to actually understand the concept of it. Hello, so now we are on the Kali Linux system. You guys will need to open a terminal, of course. Um, we will need to install dependencies that we can even embed the file with the MS Venom in the next clips. So first of all, we will install zip line for zipping and reducing memory usage of the files. And then we will also install apk tool to actually de uh, decompile the and, and also recompile the uh, apk malware to the specific application. And then we will also install uh, PR signer to sign the certificate. And then we will also install open GDK 11 GDK. That's for like the Java language that it can uh, be programmed and it, that it works basically. So that's the command we will need to give in and you guys just hit enter. So I have already installed it, so I'm not going to continue it. You just get, need to just uh, continue it wide all the time. So if the uh, apk tool doesn't work or you guys have problems, you guys can actually uh, use this command to install and also uh, move the apk tool apk tool jar to the specific directory of the bin to actually uh, make the embedding of files workable. Uh, this I will uh, have it in the description. You guys can copy and just paste it on the terminal. Hello, so now we're going to create the listener and also put it over the external one connection and also then create the malware. So first of all, we will use this window to create uh, the external connection with ngronk. So that's the local host name or IP and that's the one port. That's the local host IP or like the local host basically. And that's the uh, local port. And then we will open another window and then this is going to be our listener where we listen to our connection basically. And that's console we're going to name it. I mean that's like the tool, um, the Metasploit framework for listening. Take some time. So uh, then you guys create a screen and use exploit multi handler set payload android metabrother reverse TCP and then uh, also set the L host to 27001 the local host set L port 445 because the listener uh, is basically the one that hits uh, the connection at the local host uh, from the the external connection we will need to set up the external connection to be set up or uh, with ms venom the malware creator but the listener itself which should be actually set up to the local uh 
setup as you guys can see here that it comes to the local connection and then we will now actually um, use MS Phantom to create the payload but first of all uh, we will need to find actually APK that we can embed a custom file inside right so I will go to a website called APK Mirror to download my specific custom application that uh, can power on so I'm gonna write Instagram Lite, for example. It's a smaller version of it. And then we can... Uh, actually, let's do this, because they have four variants of architecture. That's that's better, actually. Um, this guys can see here. So the minimum versions are like the versions of Android that you guys can execute it on. And that's the architecture of the Android system, as you guys can see here. So I'm just gonna download this one. Download APK here. And just wait until download. We go to the folder. And then let's rename it to um, Insta. Like, I just make a bigger letter because I already have this file actually. So I'm going to then uh, copy this one and we will go to our home directory. Paste it here. And then uh, we close this browser and then we list it. And as you guys can see here, this Instagram APK file, right? So we're gonna write now, we're gonna create the malware now. The X command, I will explain you guys later. Uh, we will write instagram.apk and then lhost, it's gonna be the external IP or host name here, right? Uh, an L port is gonna be the external one port here, as you guys can see. And then, the, then we will also uh, output it as like backdoor apk so so you guys understand with x we embed the file it's like the malware backdoor which is uh programmed oh sorry we also need to actually specify the payload i forgot sorry android meter predator reverse tcp so before i actually want to show you guys what kind of payloads can exist for example so we can do ms phenom list payloads and then grab android then you guys will see what kind of payloads we can actually use then only this one takes a bit, a bit long here Okay, anyways, as you guys can see here, those are all the payloads or malware payloads like for the listeners that we can use basically. But I'm not going to explain all of them specifically, but you guys can change and use them. But anyways, after you guys have made this command, we can embed the malware with the IP hostname and one lo lo uh, local port and also the uh, reverse TCP payload into this Instagram file that we've downloaded and we'll, we'll output it as the name as a backtor.apk we just hit enter and this will now actually embed a malware inside this specific application so this will take some time, I'm just gonna skip it so after you guys finished embedding the Backdoor inside this Instagram file and the final output will be backdoor.apk. It should look like this. So some Android applications, you guys can actually not do it and it will show errors. But anyways, if we clear the list and we list it, we can see that the backdoor is here. So what else we need to do is like write exploit.set. So this runs an exploit, um, I mean, runs a listener behind. So everyone that clicks on the IPK file will get infected and the reverse connection will get sent here basically. So what we can also then do actually let's clear the terminal and we will go to the CD var HTML because we want to actually host the uh, malware to be downloaded over uh, uh, HTML page. So let's actually create the in index HTML page. I'm gonna code it now. So
you guys can code it however you guys want you you guys will need to understand a bit of web coding basically well let's save this one just, yeah, just save and then we will uh, write inside a href and then we will write a backdoor file that I'm going to show you guys how, uh, how we're going to copy that. And then we will write the name, the button. You guys can name it however you guys want to name it. Okay, now we have saved it. If you, for example, will uh, try to go to the folder and actually open it it doesn't seem to open hold up i need to actually i think i need i need to change something as i make an error here let's try again all right you guys can see here that's the button here so what next we're gonna do is actually copy the backdoor inside this HTML page. So let's open new terminal, go to the home directory ls, and then we will copy the backdoor apk to the HTML page where we're gonna host the web server. We just can just close it as we save it. Close this one too. And now we're gonna actually start the Apache 2 web server to host the was it locally and then we're gonna use um is a sage tunneling with servio to host it externally that the victim can actually access it from the one so the link will be android servio.net and that's the local and that's the external one port and that's the local host ip and that's the ssh tunneling option and now we can copy this link and we will go to the victim if the victim will for example open chrome and they will give in the web browser as you guys can see here they can download a backdoor basically you guys can name it however you guys want but if you will for example click on it and download again because i already downloaded it we can for example then open it and then we install it and try to open that it will show instagram click allow because it's instagram of course and as you guys can see, we can actually create an account or log in or do any specific normal task that actually we can do on Instagram, as you guys can see here. But actually what happens if the victim actually lets us victim actually lets us inside by actually installing the app. So if we write sessions, you can see we have actually remote access to the Android system of the victim. So we can make sessions interact one and then help. And then we can list all type of commands that we can do on the Android system. So, for example, if you want to uh, write sys info for system information, you will get what kind of Android system it is. Or we can, for example, um, play any audio file on it. Or even when it is like a phone, right? We can actually look at the camera, like webcam here, or record the microphone, or even get a screenshot shot of the victim's uh desktop basically so if we as you guys can see here we have the victim's desktop so we can do all of these functions basically and have full control over the system so in this clip i will show you guys how we can infect the browser and also embed our malware inside the page so first of all we will use beef xs we will first start it and also to know we only do the attack on the local network we won't do it externally and i will also host the page locally where we will serve it so i will write my private ip address here which can be found here but you guys will need to know that actually uh it can work externally if you like rent a vps virtual private server and set up beef on it but anyways uh we can go to this directory you guys can see here that's the apache 2 web service directory um what we can do for example is it did it and we will uh add a beef script inside 
At beef script, uh, usually when when your link is like this, usually it will look like this. You guys can see here. We will copy this one and then we will paste it inside here. And we will write it like this to close up the script. So this it will execute this malicious JavaScript that we can infect the browser. And at the same time, there's also the backdoor APK or the payload that we embedded inside the index.html page. So if we now will, for example, host it, service Apache 2 start, right? And then we will, for example, go to my IP address here, which I have hosted it because it's locally, not externally, right? We can go on Chrome. And we can write, for example, the IP address. And we can download the backdoor here. And we also get infected. Actually, if you look here, as you guys can see, we have actually control of the browser. And if the victim downloads the malware, they can also then get infected. So that's how we can actually chain the browser uh, exploitation with the malware exploitation of the system together